Let's look at uh, middleware in Laravel. So let's look at middleware in Laravel. So now what is middleware? Um, middleware is uh, they provide a convenient mechanism for inspecting and uh, filtering HTTP requests that are entering in your application. So middleware provide a way for a user to be authenticated in your application. So for example, if you want to authenticate certain users to access certain particular page, other users to accept another to 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 access another particular page, you you if you want to enable them to be authenticated, then middleware is the is the way to go. So let's look at the first one is authenticating particular routes. Now in middleware, we have three types of middleware. We have the the global level middleware, the group and the route level. So let's just look at this. In, uh, so we have middleware. Okay, you can also access it here. So we, this is where we have the. This is where you, you have middleware. For example, we have one here is authenticate. Dot php. This one is the one that will authenticate you as you get. That is the login page that is presented, and many other uh, middleware. So this is where we are able to find middleware. It is within the it is in the app HTTP and then middleware. So now what we are going to do here, we are going to create a custom middleware that we are going to to use in our application. For example, I'm going to make a middleware that enables one to give a valid token for him to be allowed to access a particular page. So you can you can define this one as a route level type of middleware. Route level type of middleware is the one that you're able to protect a particular route. For example, if someone is trying to access is trying to access user.profile, you will be presented with a particular authentication page or a particular authentication uh, parameter before he's allowed to access this particular page. So let's do something here. So I'm going to use the one in a illustrated in Laravel documentation although it's not complete but I'm going to try and uh, make it work so let's use this one so we are going to look at we are going to ensure that someone accessing a route accessing any no, any of our route is allowed to access that particular page so let me just destroy that one so this is how we make middleware Make uh, artisan make middleware ensure token is valid. So let me just run that. So we have created it. You can check within our middleware here. We have our custom middleware created. Very nice. Now, uh, once you create a middleware, you need to register it. So you need to register. So to register any middleware, you need to go to kernel. Like this is where you need to go to and then you need to register it now we are going to register it under protected route remember we have said we have three types of middleware we have the protected middleware we have the group the me that is the middleware groups and then the route so if you want to protect a particular route this this is where you come to register the middleware okay um so if you have any question you can ask below the you can post it so let me just copy and paste that one now here i'm going to let me come back and copy this one so this is the one i need so here i'm going to have it like this so copy paste like that and then um, this one authenticate your token is valid uh, after midway okay this is uh, so we are having the ensure token is valid like that yeah and we are good to go so i don't think there's anything else we need so that middle is registered now within our kernel so let me not close it just in case of anything we'll come and um, have it 
are taken care of. Now, since we want to ensure we protect a route, so we need to give a logic here. And the logic is normally given within the public function handle. So what we are going to do here, we are going to give it something like, um, uh, okay, guys, let me just copy this code just to save time. Uh, um, okay, guys, now what we are doing here, it's very easy. So what we are doing here is that we are requesting input token. Uh, the input token. So we are using the request. We are going to look at request in uh, the next segment. So here we are requesting the input as to be token. And then if it's not equal to my secret token, we are going to redirect them to a user led template, which I'm going to make it right now. No access. And then if he gives the right token then it's going to be taken to the next request so it's very simple so request input is not equal to my secret token here you can give it any other parameter but i'm just giving it for your understanding then redirect to no access and then return uh, okay if is allowed then return the next request something like that it's very easy to understand so now here we are going to return redirect no access so that means um we are going to make a view here and this view i'm going to name it no no access dot lead dot php that means the no access is correct okay so no access is a is a blade so that so here we, we will have, uh, let me use that MS. So here we will have something like um, H1 tag, and then H1 like this. And then I'm going to have um, something like you are not, you are not authorized. Uh, Okay, I think the spelling is good. Okay, so you are not authorized. So here you can change it to something like uh, uh, midway just to bring the meaning. Okay, so so this if is if he, the logic doesn't work, that is if the token given is not equal to this one. So this is the page that you'll be redirected to. So this is the page, and remember we have given that page. Uh, where is it? This is the page. Yeah. So I think we are good to go with that. Um, okay. So within within our, um, we need to register the route because we have created another view. Now, since this one, you can see here. Um, okay. Now there's the page. If it gives the correct page here. Let's let's go back. If it gives the correct page here, it should be redirected to a particular page here. Now, as you can see here, um, there's something. Okay, you are not authorized. This is the page here, and then now we need to register the route here. So we need to have something like uh, this. Is the page is trying to access, right? So we are, in other words sorry in other words remember we said we are protecting a particular route so this is the route we want to protect here so this is the route we want to protect so what will happen here is that um i'm going to protect this particular route so i'm going to give it something like this i'm going to give it something like this so it's going to have so you're going to have middleware like that and then um, it's going to have the it's going to have the ensure the token valid class so remember this is the where we created our logic so we need to have we need to use it like that so token valid class and then we have ended it with our code
comma like that so so here we are we are giving the middleware and then yeah so this is the route we are protecting so whenever it tries to access this route um, something will have to be required so let's do this so let me run the artisan serve command okay so let's try to access this page so he hasn't given any particular okay so uh, not found so there has to be something not correct here oh sorry uh, oh. okay so we do not create the the no access page eh? the one that it should be direct redirected to so we need to have it there so we need to have um, Uh, no access and then here we need to have the our page here no access now the reason I'm registering it within the user controller is because they all belong to the same controller so so remember these are Laravel 9 feature so like that so let's see if it's able to return again the correct okay so this now you can see now there's something that is good now you can see here there's something you also need to know that the error page for laravel 9 is this one and it looks very nice with this colored features so this is what you have presented if you have not used the laravel 9 so far so here no access does not exist so let me check it again no access hope this is correct all right guys so what i i inspected my route list here and i found it's connected with um, user controller but i forgot to con to create the public function we should have a public function within our user controller so let me just do that so here uh, so here we need to have something like which is which will enable us to return the video just like we have done with the other one so here we should have something like no access and then here we should uh, return the view which should be okay, no access and then here we can close with that okay so i think this should work uh, here no parameter we should not have that uh, okay so let's see if this page can be found now So it still doesn't exist okay so guys uh, there was a spelling mistake so it's just a spelling mistake but it should be no access and like that and then like this so once we access the page this is this is what we are redirected to so if I try to I try to access user.profile which is protected route you are redirected to this page okay so now how should we be able to access the page now the way you can access the page should be this way uh, okay you go back to the page itself and then slash the profile and then slash the profile we'll have yes so this is already done so we'll have slash profile with question mark and then here which equal to my secret token remember the secret token is the one that should be equal so if it's equal to this one uh, you can be redirected to this particular page which is i user so take note of this the question 
uh, the question mark, the token, then equal to my secret token. Otherwise, if you don't give this one like that, you are redirected to no access page.